Throughout my campaign, I pledged to focus on improving conditions for African-American citizens. This means more to me than anybody would understand or know. It was a warm welcome to the members of the Congressional Black Caucus visiting the White House. President Donald Trump acknowledged the contributions made by African Americans. African American citizens have given so much to this country. Uh, they fought in every war since the revolution, and they fought hard. They've lifted up the conscience of our nation in the march toward civil rights, enriched the soul of America and their faith and courage, and they've advanced our country in the fields of science, arts, and medicine. Seven members of the CBC, including its chairman, Congressman Cedric Richmond, attended the meeting with Trump. On the campaign trail, candidate Trump posed the question of what did the African Americans have to lose by taking a chance on him? Today, they brought an answer. We presented to him uh, our policy document, which is titled, What Do We Have to Lose?, which encompasses both uh, problems as we see it and solutions that we offer as subject matter experts in the area. Richmond said they wanted to offer the president the opportunity to engage with their constituents who, he pointed out, are not all African Americans. We as the Congressional Black Caucus, we represent 78 million Americans. Uh, only 17 million of those are African American. But we consistently fight for poverty, no matter if it's white poverty, minority poverty, black, brown, poverty, inner city or rural. Before Thursday's visit, White House spokesman Sean Spicer indicated that the willingness to sit down and talk was a first step in a continuing dialogue. Maybe they won't agree on 100 percent or 60 percent, but maybe there's 15, 20 or 30 percent of the issues. Maybe there's one bill in particular that they can work on. Richmond said it was a meeting in which both sides listened and were candid about disagreements and surprisingly, there were more similarities than differences. Mariama Diallo, VOA News, Washington.